What? I've been ignoring Vlogmas for the past couple of days. It's loud in here. I've been ignoring Vlogmas for the past couple of days. Not on purpose. I just don't do anything ever and that's it. I haven't done anything and I just haven't felt good the past couple of days. So I'm sorry that I've failed you all. But I'm off this week. Um, so I'm going to try to vlog more. So I can actually try to do some things instead of just sitting around doing nothing. I'm sorry I look like complete heinous poop right now. But I'm getting ready to go to the bath and get in the shower. But I was like, you know what? I haven't felt good. I'm going to have a nice bath. Use a bath bomb. I'm having a nice time. I just watched a movie. And I ate breakfast. But then, then I'm going to have to eat again when I'm done. And I'm waiting on certain people that have pissed me off. Who shall not be named. But yeah. I'll uh, save you from this space, so hopefully next time you see it, it will be better looking. I don't know. I can't tell if it's going to be better looking. I can't promise that. But also, thank you, Sam, for the card. I finally got your Christmas card yesterday. I forgot to tell you. I'm probably going to tweet you, which you'll find out, obviously, before you see this video. But I love the card, and I'm sorry that I failed you with Vlogmas, and you said you were excited. But, um, yes, I loved it. And... I'm going to get cards this week. It might be late, but I'm going to send out cards this week, so you'll get one. I love you. And I'm going to take my bath now. I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. So this is the bath bomb I'm using. It's the Sex Bomb from Lush, and I just love it because it's the pink and the purple, or it's like a pink and lavender, and it has the cute little flower shape on top. And they remind me of those things that you get on top of candy. I don't know. I'm sorry my tub is ridiculously dirty. It's from the last one. And like, if you don't wash it right, like all of the residue stays on there and gets dirty. So I'm sorry about that, but let's get this party started. So pretty. <laughs> I love the smell of this one. Move it back. And look at the color so fast. Like it quickly, like, and look, now it turned all of, like, the spots that the residue was purple. Magic. Magic. Black magic. And, like, the flowers coming out. It turns into these little, like, floppy things. I don't know what the hell they are. I don't know. But they're cute. I'll let them come out on their own. I don't know how interesting this is for you guys. Oh, I'll show you my nails while we're doing this. I got my nails done on Friday, and I fucking love them. I went in and I wanted a snowman. I was like, I really want a snowman. Let's do this. And I was like, I want a penguin on my ring finger. She's like, I don't know. She's like, well, there is this blue that I want to do ombre with. I don't know if you can tell. Like, it's like a blue with like an ombre. I'm like, I'm not really a blue fan, but look at this. Like, it loves perfectly the snowflake. So cute, and it has a gem in it, and I love it. So it's not, like, I wanted red, but it goes so much better with the snowman, and it's so freaking cute. I love it. I was like, I'm off for a week. I'm getting my nails did so I can be sassy as heck. Love them. I also am going to be filming the Lush haul sometime this week and having it up for you guys because I got some Lush when we were on our trip. That There they go. Little leafy, floppy things. I don't know what they do. They just flop around like that, like magical water flower. But anyway, um, I got some when we were out of town last week, so I'm going to do a haul of those, and that'll be fun. It's not a very big haul, it's kind of tiny, but you guys will still like it. And you're probably getting bored of this, so I'll stop, and I'll check back in later. So I'm sorry that I've not done anything with myself the rest of this day. I've literally done nothing. I took a nap after I got out of the bath. I braided my hair so it looks nice for tomorrow, and what is that? I know my face is broken out, but where the hell did that come from? I hate you guys that are blessed with cute, nice faces. I want to sit down because I don't see the thing. So, I haven't really talked about my axolotls that I got because I've just been having a really hard time. Because I think I made a mistake. When we went to the expo, there's one guy selling... Um, probably like juveniles to adults it's probably about like two to three inches long we went to this other place and the three that I got they were three little ones probably about I don't even know if they're an inch yet probably like a little less than an inch they're really small and 
it was the same price for three of those than it was for one bigger one. So I thought, well, I'll do that. So that way I have a better chance, like, you know, so unless I spend all that money on one, that it'll stay alive. I have a better chance of three being alive. So no, that really wasn't, that wasn't a good plan. Um, one died yesterday. So it's been a week since I've had them. Yeah, a week. Um, it's just not been a good idea. Like, I'm trying my best to, like, first off, I read online in many different sites saying that you could have sand as the bottom of the tank. And now they're saying none, so I might fucking switch all that to nothing on the bottom. But I'm just going to wait and see if at least the one lives, because the one's still breathing it's just not moving and I think that like they die so slow because the one that died the other day I separated him because he was kind of ever since I got him like when we got to my dad's that night after I got them he was kind of um blah and I was like I think he's dead well then I went I switched the cup around and he moved so I was like okay he's still alive and that lasted for basically the week so I'm just gonna wait and see because you'll know when it's actually dead and I just don't want to prematurely get rid of it but I can tell its tail's kind of curled but the more I'm reading online because I'm the most paranoid person ever so it was really stupid of me to get fish that are this advanced but I thought I thought I was ready but it says you really shouldn't have baby axolotls if you don't know what you're doing which is I don't know what I'm doing apparently so I don't know, we'll see. And hopefully I can keep at least one alive. I might get in a smaller tank to put it in until it gets bigger because I don't know if this tank's too big because I put them in my 20 because I had that one ready because I was planning on getting a bigger one, but that didn't work out too well. So I might switch it back, put them, the one through, I might put it in the 10 and my cichlids back in the bigger tank. That is if Spot lives because Stripey's being an asshole to him. Stripey's always an asshole, I know. My poor spot. He's right here with me. You see him? He he loves me. He's not gonna make it though, I can tell, because he's being bullied by Stripey. He's an idiot. But I think the one's gonna die, so then there's gonna be one left. And I think it's Kevin. I can't remember if which one's Aaron and which one's Kevin. I'll have to check and see. But it really makes me mad because I've done, like I've tried the best I can. Maybe tomorrow I'll go get, I think it'll be too late for the one, but I'll go get some like, um, red worms, earthworms or whatever, see if they have any. Um, I just don't know how I feel about that because I'd have to cut them into pieces because there's no way they can eat a whole big one. And I don't know if you guys care about this, me rambling on about this, but it's just making me so... Cause I've tried so hard like I have to hand feed them every day like my arm is the whole way in the tank and I have this like because the pipette I have is like this big because I haven't gotten a bigger one yet and it just upsets me so bad because I'm trying so hard because I want them to grow and I'm trying to like look up things like what should you feed them so they grow faster um because these aren't even like I don't even know how old they are because I don't even think I got them from a little bit wow I'm gonna stop but it just makes me sad. I just hope one lives. One is pretty active still. So I'm hoping he or she makes it through at least. Because I do want to keep one. But at least I know what to not do if I get them again. In tomorrow's video, I'll show them to you. I don't know if I'll show you the one that's dying, but I'll show you the one that's alive. I'm going to do a water change because you're supposed to do once a week because it says the ammonia and nitrate levels can get too high. So I don't know if maybe I shouldn't have waited a week to change the water because I have a filter in there, but is the filter too much for them and maybe the air current's too much, but if I don't have a filter in there, I feel like it's going to get too dirty and then they'll get sick because there's no change of water like there's a bubbler in there but I put a loofah underneath the filter to see if that'll work it's probably still too much current because they're so tiny I just don't know what to do and it's upsetting me and I hate that you can see through their bodies so you can see all that stuff inside them and you can tell if they haven't gone poop or not and then I read all this stuff like I just get so like I was reading about they get constipated and that they're floating and then like oh my god it just 
They're like a dog, really, a water dog that likes cold temperatures. I don't know. I'll stop bitching about this because I'm sure I'll be about it tomorrow. But I just watched Saving Santa, which was pretty cute. I saw Martin Freeman was in it. I just like his voice. It just sounds really nice. It makes me want to watch The Hobbit, too. But, um, I don't know. I'm going to get ready to go to bed because I'm off tomorrow, but Sean's calling me in the morning before he goes to work. I don't know. So tomorrow, I will show you my Christmas tree, which I showed you a little bit. Did I show you a little bit? I don't know. I don't remember. I'll talk about, show you my oxalls because I haven't even showed them to you guys and they're all dying off. So what's the point even to show you? I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, I'll talk to you guys again soon. And I'm sorry again for my lack of vlogging. I'm going to try a lot harder to be better at it. I can't help it. I told you guys from the start that I'm not good at keeping things in line and doing things because I've just been so out of it lately and all I've done is sleep and I need to clean and get stuff ready. I have no present spot, guys. Christmas is in 12 days. I don't have the time or the money to do it and I know if I don't get any presents I'll be like, we've had all year. Well, no, I don't pre-buy. And since work has been crazy lately, it's just, I don't know. Merry Christmas. But anyways, I'm going to end this up so I don't get any more depressing. And I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Bye.